few days ago, a massive earthquake uh, hit just west of Kathmandu, centered in a district called Gorkha. Uh, altogether, there are a number of uh, continuous aftershocks and tremors that have uh, destroyed homes, that have led to a loss of life, and a huge amount of injured people, and just a huge sense of loss right now. But the building was shaking so much, it looks like the earth is going to divide into two parts and we're just going to go and we don't know nothing happened. So people were feared, people were starting jumping out of their house or, or people started falling down while they are working on the uh, field and they have no idea. So it just seems like the, the world is going to end right now. Because this used to be a road and uh, because of the earthquake, the road has been closed down. And some people who ran away from here the another houses the, the fell down and the two people killed over this same spot. And the four people killed in the, this, this spot. The people who are in the staying in the another part and they are trying to run away and, and on, on the same time, this house fell down and the four people killed and um, so many people have been injured. Going around and, and meeting people and talking and, and hearing stories of the loss uh, that people have had to deal with. Uh, not just loss in terms of material possessions, but loss of family members. Um, it's, it's jarring. Going around with them, uh, we've been spending the last uh, while doing assessments, uh, visiting homes, visiting people, talking to people, going to institutions like hospitals, uh, trying to see where, where we can be of the, the most service and be of the most really value and help. The things that we need to help is the, the most priority right now is a, is a shelter for people to live who are alive right now because they can't live on the houses like this. Second, we need a safe drinking water because the water probably has been contaminated. And so we need a safe drinking water. And third is we need a food for them so that they can live. We have a team here of experts in the medical field, in water and sanitation, as well as in food and in shelters, uh, working together with local partners and contacts uh, to be able to do whatever we can. There is uh, a sense of responsibility, I think, that we have uh, as we have, especially as Christians, to come in and come alongside and be with them and sit with them in their, in their struggles, in their hopelessness, and offer uh, some sense of hope uh, that we do have um, and be able to, to be with them in this, this difficult time.